How you doing guys? It's been a while eh? But good to be back out. The weather's no great today. What we're getting is a lot of rain today and I think it's Gale Force winds forecast 40 50 mile an hour somewhere. I've met another YouTuber today, Big Monty, Big Monty Outdoors. So I'll put a link down to his channel down the bottom of the description. But today we're in Glencoe, we're staying off the tops due to the wind. We're going, put, uh, we're going to find a camp in Larry Gildy, which is between Glencoe and Glen Etif. Uh, should be plenty of camp spots up here. It should be good. But uh, the weather's going to make it challenging, eh? Solo tonight. It's going to get tested tonight, so the wind's ferocious just now. A lot of rain as well. So, got the best pitch I could get here, basically. So, I'm going to get inside because the, the rain's terrible. That's looking across to Anakigak Ridge. As you can hear, the rain is belting down. It's blown up a bit now. I think the forecast is to get to 60 miles an hour, so this will give the solo a good test. Looks like we're going to be locked in a tent for a while. It's absolutely bucketing. Maybe time for a beer. I brought in uh, a few cans of Stella, so that should get me going. We got Monty set up here. Here's Monty here. Say hi, Monty. Hiya. All right. So what will be in the night, Monty? So we've got the label on both sides, I believe. The crew uh, outdoors. The crew outdoors. I believe they're an Irish American company. Aye. And it looks like they're trying to capitalise on the market in the UK. They seem Aye. to be bigger in both Ireland and America. Aye. Not much happening over here. Aye. I've already had it out once, out in 50 miles per hour winds. What a performance. Excellent. We've had some gusty winds so far today. We had Aye. some pretty strong winds and it's still going strong, even though you think I'm sheltered from that little hill in this little ditch. It's not really doing Aye. the job. Um, great headroom. I mean, Aye. I'll go and sit inside it. Ah, look inside here, guys. Monty, Monty six, six foot three. Six, six, foot, six foot three. Look at the headroom. Excellent. Enough. Look at the headroom in the vestibule. Aye. It's a, it's the proper width for a two-man tent. Proper yeah. length for a two man tent, but the height, you know, it's very akin to a three man tent. Aye, plenty of room, eh? Magic. I like it. Been, over, I... The, been over the party is tonight, Monte. Okay. Dinner tonight is the summit to eat chicken tikka with rice. Can you see this? Well, up to line A. Dinner is served. Had these before, these are alright. Sound. But I prefer the real turn up ones. I think they're um, a lot more tastier, but I like, I'd quite enjoy these too. Cheers, guys. Can of Stella, can of beat them. So, like I said, that's uh, work front all changed now. That's me finished, officially finished in Orkney. So, my next trip will be in the platforms in the North Sea. So, that's an end of an era for me. 16 years in Orkney I was. So, off to pastures new. So, here's hoping it's as good out there as it was in Orkney. Cheers. I'm going to call it a night. There's not much to see anyway. It's just been raining all right. Uh, probably about 14 hours tent time here, so we'll see what it's like in the morning. 
See you in a moment. That's just after midnight and the wind's ramped right up. Quarter to twelve there. Oh. The tent is bent right in there. Uh, it's 20 past 3 in the morning and we're still getting battered about being relentless, the wind. Uh, it's just coming in big massive gusts. Uh, Solo's doing the job. Solo standing up to it. Jesus! Well, that was mental. Five minutes ago, I thought we were going to take off. Uh, the wind's just coming and gone, just coming in big gusts. Uh, when the gusts are coming, it must be 60, 70 mile an hour, that's the forecast. You think? Absolutely mental. <laughs> but that was rough last night. See, between three and half five, I honestly thought the tent was going to take off. Uh, the wind was ferocious. Uh, it's calmed down now, it's still a bit breezy, but it's raining. So I've just got to lie here and wait and get packed up, and we'll get off this hill. Here's a solo after all that wind. I've got one slack guy. You can see it here. That's, uh, you can just see that there, that peg was coming up there. But, that's pretty good. Stood the test, 70 mile an hour winds for three hours. So I'll get a tent done and we'll get packed up with a, and off we pop. So uh, here's a look around. That's Bukalet of Peg. Uh, you can see Monty's tent at the back there. That's done well as well. And there's snow in the tops there, you can just see the light dust in the snow. And that takes you up through the glen into Glen Edith. So it's been a, an eventful night, I must say. We all packed up, that wind's going up again. So this is where we are. That's my rubbish here. So as always, leave no trace. Uh, well, the rucksack there, so we're going to head down this glen. That'll be us guys, so what I've got to do is end the video here, hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll catch you on the next one, hopefully it's a sunny day. <laughs>